what is up everybody we're just here back again um i guess we're just trying to give you guys an update on how the build is going uh like we mentioned earlier we had a lot of plans up for this car we planned this a long time ago uh, months before coming to this vacation like i mentioned in the last video um in hopes that everything will be ready for us to just come here and to just wrench every day and keep going until the car was out so that we can at least you know turn it on take it to the dyno see what numbers it comes up to and whatnot uh fortunately the motor happened to be in different two in two different shops uh the first shop that we left it um after months they didn't even touch anything i don't know the reasons or anything i really don't care all i know is that I was planning to do something like one way and it didn't work out like that. So I uh, took the parts, uh, took it somewhere else. I spoke to the guys, explained my situation, whatever happening, whatnot. I guess that still was pointless because after I left the parts and whatnot and, and, and they knew that I was going to go because I was on vacation. This guy went on vacation too. Like I cannot score anything guys. Like. I left the parts to a different machine shop so they could get done before I leave. And these guys went on vacation too. So now the parts are just pretty much on the shop. Um, fortunately, I got to leave soon. Got to go get back to work and whatnot. And we unfortunately, we can't be getting the motor yet until we come back again. Um, when it's going to be, I don't know. I'm going to give you guys an update on the car because we really wrench on this thing. Uh, I consider that this thing is pretty much ready a lot. And so uh, uh we had some videos and stuff of whatever we did like uh, all the upgrades we did everything that we changed in the car what we did how we did it and whatnot but uh the system crashed and then i re i lost everything that it was recorded every single video was done uh so i don't have pretty much anything else luckily i'm still here the car is here so i'm gonna give you an update on that at least you can see what we did i'm gonna try to explain what we did how we did it and a little bit and like that I'm, I'm sorry guys i wish i could show you how we did it and whatnot because that's the point of this i want to show you everything we do i don't like to do anything hidden or whatever so without further ado i'm just gonna give you guys a a look of how the car is currently and then you'll see so since i lost everything like i mentioned earlier uh what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna take a video to explain what we did on suspension and then on fuel system and so on so that way you guys know um, a little bit of every detail so we're gonna start in suspension and here we go so suspension wise on the back is pretty much just factory the only thing is uh, this car has um, coilovers but it's only the spring so it's basically suspension I believe it's called or whatever it is it's a factory shock which is a, a lower spring uh, this is one of the old rims that was in the car we kind of just the same thing clean it the grease it and then just paint it black because this is just the black back tire we don't really need much in here uh, we did change the brakes uh, this car has a disc all around so that's better for us um, other than that, it's pretty much normal here in the back. Now, here's the front. Uh, here's the front was a little bit difficult. I mean, not difficult, it's, it's a whole lot different. Uh, you pretty much see everything like factory-wise. See, there's no major changes. It's pretty much how it comes from factory. But if you look closely, every single bushing on this car has been changed for our polyurethane uh, bushing. Uh, everything, the links, uh, that one, this uh, ball joint on the bottom is being changed. This is being changed. The bushings over here are also polyurethane. This was the pain because they came like too big for what the hole is actually made of. So what we had to do, um, we had to like trim the inside of the bushing so that it can get inside the little sleeve pretty much because we have to literally burn every single one factory wise like this is a control arm from factory so what we do is we take the bushing you take the whole control arm out and take this bushing and you heat it up and uh, it basically melts and then you can take the little uh insert that comes inside you just take it out and then there'll be like a another sleeve that goes inside what i do is i take a saw and then just cut it until it breaks and then that way it's a lot easier to get it out you take like a hammer 
and, and a screwdriver or whatever and just pop it out and it comes out and then you insert these guys this is three piece it's th this it goes another in the middle and then the one on the end and then this the difference between all the suspension and why we went through all of this is because this when you tie it down it still gives you the flexibility of the suspension so that way it can go up and down and do all the movement it needs but it's secure it, it literally doesn't move but it still gives you the all the suspension work so basically we have the suspension tighter but it's still loose so that way you don't have any any tension it doesn't have any restraint on the suspension it pretty much flow like factory wise but it's a lot tougher um we don't have a traction bar in this car because we had kind of like a budget but the bushings for here and also here they're being changed for a polyurethane as well uh both sides were done so basically everything on the front end is polyurethane bushings so also as you can see here this is a factory shock with a suspension it's the same thing as a coilover pretty much but it's only this what gives it the right height you guys get the idea it's pretty much factory but in reality it's not it's supposed to help a lot um i also have another car like i mentioned earlier in the videos which i did this already and i'm telling you guys it's 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 a lot different so that's pretty much an update on the suspension wise that way you guys have an idea i wish i could show you what we did because it was stressful it literally cost me a finger so it was it was tough i know i'm talking too much i wish i could show you what we actually did and like put it in different videos because there was a lot a lot a lot of footage i haven't even show you the inside of the car and whatever we did with fuel but we're gonna get to that just keep going so guys here's pretty much the engine bay we literally rattle candy like i cannot even express it because this thing was horrible uh if you saw the pictures earlier in the videos it was bad so we pretty much rattle candy it's, all, it's obviously dirty already because it's been some time but there's some wiring there i guess you guys would know what that is this might too i'm gonna explain everything a little bit better but just the engine bay itself we pretty much just clean it and then degrease it and whatever and then just rattle can of black i just put the radiator there for mock-up because i don't want it on the floor or whatever so i can show you guys better um but this is just the engine bay of course we're gonna get into details when we get the motor and all of that stuff um we don't need that where we're going so let me just keep you posted on so i'm inside of the car i'm just showing you myself because there's a lot a lot of different things inside here so i just want to show you what we're going to now uh fuel system so this car, so if you want to change the fuel pump and whatnot, it doesn't come with an access to it. You literally have to get the car jacked up or whatever and get the tank down so you can work with it. I mean, I've done this so many times. I usually spray some water and put like a cloth or something and I so make this it work. Is what I do. I always make this hole and just literally cut with a grinder. That way you don't break anything. Of course, you don't recommend this guys, but I mean, this is a race car. I don't really care about what was going on or whatever. I, I'm going to cover this after as well. So it's not like it's going to stay like this, but I have a setup here that you guys might be interested in how to do it because it literally saved me a lot of work, a ton of work. And I, I know this is heavy. This is the gas tank from factory. This thing weighs a lot of pounds. I can probably put a fuel cell there and just get it done with it and that's it. But if I put a fuel cell in there and if I'm going into the track, um, I will have to make a wall here so that it can cover me from the gas. And since we already make some changes, so we can't do that. So I stick to the fuel one, I mean factory one because obvious reasons I don't have to modify anything and then this works plus this is really good. I have here a 525 Hellcat fuel pump or Walbro, whatever. It's a 525, pretty much basic. Uh, when you cut this access hole, this is the only thing you need to take out for you to change the fuel pump itself. It doesn't have like one of those big things. It's just literally the pump and then it has a filter at the bottom with some wirings. And then you take these nuts out of here around this is the plug from factory you don't really have none of this this is what we already made of but you take this clip out take that one nut the all the way around and this thing should come out with the pump and everything but what we did we installed the 525 already it's pretty much basic it's like factory one like the factory one but it's a little bit bigger at the bottom so you have to finesse it a little bit more but just some zip ties and hold it in right with a uh, a clamp as well and it didn't move factory position with a hose and then it works perfectly fine um here 
this thing comes from factory factory from what is called a banjo fitting which is like a nut that you bolt down with a little hose that is circle and then you tie it down with some washers one on the bottom one on the top and then that pretty much seals everything but if you take that at least on honda on this one at least he worked i'm pretty sure everything is you'd be saying i'm just rumbling here but for you guys can see there's literally a fitting coming straight out of the factory hole it, it literally bolts right there you don't have to change the thread literally nothing guys it literally screws right there and then you select the size of the line that you're gonna run which we are running 8-8 line with fittings uh and everything i'm gonna show you where, where it goes and everything we did but you literally put a fitting right there i literally use one of the factory washers that comes in the same nut and it works perfect guys like literally you have to do absolutely nothing use a stock tank which is heavier yes but it literally gives you all the flexibility without doing any weldings or anything so you can upgrade your fuel lines so we already have installed dash 8 line with fittings and it runs through here and then you can see goes all over there uh the wiring what, what i actually did i just extend this cord and then i use this plug so that way if i need if i ever need to disconnect it i can just come here and unplug it but of course this is going to run in through a relay which we already have connected on the front so it's going to have direct power from the battery but the relay is up front so we already wire all this up i'm just going to show you what we did and then like i said it's a dash eight line with a uh inline filter which it has a hundred micron on and then um i like this setup actually i don't have the motor yet but i'm going to show you this guys so this is the factory um fuel rail from this accord and we already made the changes here so we weld the fitting over here and we welded another one here so one is for the return one it was for the ins for the gas and then this is a fitting that comes in here i don't really know the actual reason for it but it literally comes with just this and then it has another little bolt that threads over here so what we did is uh we use a drill bit and make the hole bigger put new thread and then we installed this fitting here so this is the gas and nitrous feet for us we haven't you know stock fuel rail but it's pretty much ready for everything it's already made for dash a for the return everything uh we have a inline inline fuel regulator as well which is going to show you later on the videos but that's pretty much the fuel system guys it's a 525 hellcat pump inline fuel filter with 100 microns on um i believe we're running maybe q16 m1 i don't really know the gas we're running but fuel system is pretty much all set we just like i said waiting for the motor but that's what we did on this and let's get to the other parts big difference from earlier right pretty much everything is not here anymore we don't need it delete it you know the saying but here it is guys um we got three pedals already uh the pump is already installed i mean the clutch sleeve is already installed uh pedals already installed everything is tightened down in place uh we kind of fixed the wiring already tucked it in place everything we don't need um i have this guys for the people that will see them you know the deal then everything is pretty much all set um power wire goes directly to the battery the battery will be mounted right here that's the uh, this car when it, it's automatic was automatic but uses two easy use one for the tra transmission and the other one for the engine it's still obd1 like for instance this is uh one of my ecus it's just it's just EB, uh, obd1 just like regular you don't need a wire harness or anything like that it literally plugs right there and then it works perfectly just like normal um as you can see we mounted the nitrous bottle we got the lines already here we got all the fittings literally guys we have everything we need to have this car running and operating but of course like i mentioned earlier we got um here's the shifter as well it's already mounted this thing is solid it's going nowhere so steering wheel is on there's our dash too, which we're going to show you more later. But I mean, like I said, guys, we have been working on this car for a long time. Everything's pretty much buttoned up until we get the motor and then fix miscellaneous stuff like the wiring, relays, wires, you know, the deal, all this for nitrous stuff. 
Uh, this car will be running in a Honda S300 uh, with coil and plug and cop kit, all that kind of stuff. So guys, this is pretty much the end of this video. Uh, you kind of see how we got the update and this and that a little bit. I know this isn't the best or great idea like I mentioned earlier, but I'm not going to say it again. Just keep, we keep you posted when we can. Um, this short video, I mean, this is a, one of the other cars that I have, uh, you know, once we got it and the process of whatever we did to it. Uh, just so you guys have an idea and whatnot. I hope you enjoy it. And hopefully we guys see you next time with more updates and hopefully we can get that thing running and show you the other cars I have and whatnot. But thanks for the support and enjoy the video.